November 29, 1879. Wyatt Earp arrives in Tombstone, where his brother Virgil is Deputy U.S. Marshal. July 30th, 1880. The U.S. Army offers a reward to anyone who can prove the McClarys, along with the Clantons, are guilty of harboring stolen mules. July 31st, 1880. Wyatt Earp is appointed Deputy Sheriff. October 28th, 1880. Wyatt arrests McClary Clanton crony William Brocious, also known as Curly Bill, for shooting City Marshal Fred White. March 15, 1881. The Benson stage is robbed at gunpoint, and the McClary Clanton associates are implicated. June 5, 1881. Doc Holliday is arrested for the stage robbery. He's later cleared of the charges. The Earps suspect Sheriff John Bean of setting Doc up to direct suspicion away from the real culprits, the McClary Clanton cowboy faction. June 1881. Wyatt allegedly strikes a deal with Ike Clanton. In return for Clanton's help in capturing the stage robbers, Wyatt offers him the reward money. Clanton gets cold feet and backs out of the deal. September 1881. The Bisbee stage is robbed at gunpoint. The driver fingers Pete Spence and Frank Stillwell. Stillwell is deputy sheriff under Bean, and both are McClary Clanton cronies. September 1881, Wyatt, Virgil, and Wells Fargo detective Fred Dodge hunt down and arrest Spence and Stillwell. Rumors circulate that friends of the accused are out to get the herbs. October 25th, 1881. Ike Clanton and Doc Holliday get into a row at the Alhambra Saloon. Virgil breaks up the fight, but later that night, a drunken Ike confronts Wyatt in the street. He tells Wyatt that a fight is coming tomorrow, and he will have it out man for man. October 26th, 1881. Virgil Earp arrests Ike Clanton for running around town with a rifle and yelling that he's going to kill the first Earp he sees. In court, Wyatt tells Clanton, I will go anywhere on earth to make a fight with you. Clanton is fined $25 and released. On the way out of court, Wyatt encounters Tom Clanton. After a heated exchange, Wyatt pistol whips Clanton and leaves him bleeding in the street. Frank McClary and Billy Clanton ride into town and meet up with Billy Claiborne, Ike Clanton, and Tom McClary in the lot next to Fly's photography studio. They are confronted there by the Earps and Doc Holliday. Billy Claiborne gets cold feet and runs away. Virgil hears the click of a hammer being drawn back. Doc fires first. Morgan fires second. Frank McClary starts to draw, and Wyatt drops him with a shot to the stomach. When the smoke clears, three of the cowboys lie dead or dying. Virgil has been shot through the leg, Morgan in the back, and Doc has been grazed on the hip. December 1st, 1881. Judge Wells Spicer finds the Earps and Holiday not guilty. December 17, 1881. 
Judge Spicer receives an anonymous death threat. December 28, 1881. Virgil Earp is shot and badly wounded. A hat with Ike Clanton's initials is found at the scene. December 29, 1881. Wyatt is sworn in as deputy marshal to replace Virgil. January 17, 1882. Johnny Ringo, a McClary Clanton crony, challenges Doc and Wyatt to a shootout in the middle of the street. A lawman disarms Ringo. February 1882. Ike Clanton manages to have the Earps charged with murder a second time in a contention city court. Wyatt is arrested, but the charge is later dismissed. March 18, 1882. Morgan Earp is shot in the back and killed while playing billiards. Wyatt and Virgil leave for California by train. At a station stop, Wyatt spots Frank Stillwell, who he thinks was involved in Morgan's murder. Wyatt kills him. He is now an outlaw. March 22, 1882. Bent on revenge, Wyatt tracks down and kills Indian Charlie, who was also implicated in Morgan's death. March 23, 1882. Wyatt and his posse are ambushed by Curly Bill Brocious. Wyatt kills Brocious, who was also a suspect in Morgan's death. Wyatt flees to Colorado. March 24, 